So I'm out again in the woodlands again. This time back at Kennet Chase, out with Simon and Martin. But even I look at those photos from that one and go, you know what? They're all actual, mo well, mostly wall hangers. Yeah. From Definitely, from yeah. that Lake District one. Oh, what a morning! What a morning! I mean, the, the, I'd probably say what a morning. Yeah. at least four portfolio shots there. And we've decided to come out in the afternoon. That, that summer, I don't normally do in woodland because the weather's forced us into it. We've had a, a big rain belt come through midday, so we're hoping to capture the nice light at the end of the day. And we've just gone a little walk round just to see what things are. And we've come across this absolutely beautiful character. The side light's hitting it, it's got moss all over it. He's got his arms wave, waving at us. We've got nice light in the background. And I thought, you know what, I've got to try and capture this image. Lovely side light coming through. But it's just the character of this tree. So, yep, yeah, um, settings. I've tried f11 and I've tried f5.6 just to just to um, knock that background out and just concentrate on this tree. But I think with an image like this, the important part of this image is, is where you situate yourself within the background, getting that background right. Um, and we've got some lovely light behind it at the minute. I'm actually going to capture it again. I'm actually up the ISO, but I'm going to drop it back down a bit and I'm about 70 mil. We'll grab that shot once more, and then we'll move on. I'll do. No messing. That is one to return to. I mean, imagine how the snow, the snow we had this week. Need to. It'd be, you took one on your phone, so you know where it oh, is. Yeah, yeah. The snow and the frost Might last have. weekend. But yeah. yeah, perfect. That's a killer. That's a, a cracking. <laughs> that's a crack. That's that's a, a find. That is. Yeah. It's a find. That's a find. Had. You know, I've been, been walking for a good hour and a half now and I'm just not feeling it at all. Oh. I like the last shot, but since then, nothing. I really felt as if I failed on this, this little photo shoot and I just wasn't feeling it at all. But what I did get out of it is the fact that we, we found this superb character in the woodland. So as much as I felt as if I failed, we definitely didn't, and it was definitely worth getting out of there. So what I thought I'd do is I'd show you my edit on the actual the image that I took of the the waving tree, the hands up. So we were searching around Cannet Chase. We were walking for quite a while, trying to search different areas. Simon was with us, and he was taking us to one or two little areas, and we come across this tree, and um, it just had to be photographed. We had nice light, nice side light coming across, and um, the background light was nice, which is really important as well. So it was definitely worth taking the shot. Let's open it up in Lightroom, have a look at it, and I'll show you the edit. First thing I will do is we'll just come out a little bit and just have a little study of the image. This one was took at f11, which is probably the one I prefer. I did take one at 5.6, I think it was. But it was this, this detail in the, the background. I just wanted a little bit more of this detail within this part where the light's hitting behind the tree there. So that's one reason why I've chosen. It's soft, but it's still nice light. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to send it into Photoshop and just soften the image a little bit and then we'll do a little bit of tweaking it back into in Lightroom. 
So it's just to right click on the image and edit in Photoshop. So I've shown this process before if you if you watch my Your Raw, um, which is out on a Tuesday it's series two. Um, so check that out on a on a Tuesday. So what the first thing I'll do is I'll just duplicate the layer. So I'll just drag it down to the, the little square box there and it'll duplicate the layer instantly. I'll work on this foreground layer. We'll go up into filters, blur, Gaussian blur. Now I've set the, the pixel radius to 42 because I've got a 42 megapixel camera. So what I suggest you do if you've got a 20 or a 60, set it to them figures seems to work best. Press OK then we'll come down to the um, we'll come down to the blend mode and we're gonna pick darken color and then what we'll do is we'll drop the opacity down to anything under 30. I think if you go above 30 it starts to look too washy. So if, if we choose about if we choose 30 I think that works quite well and that's just all it's done is just made it soften the image. Now if we didn't want to soften this part of the image which I don't want to I would just add a layer mask. Pick the brush tool, pick the black and I would just paint over the detail in the main part of the tree and that's all the detail I'm after. So I'm quite happy with that. We'll just have a before and after look. That's that process done. So we'll save it and we'll get back into Lightroom. So we're back into Lightroom. It still feels a little bit flat to me so we're going to give it a little bit of punch and we're going to do a little bit of colour grading and one or two fine adjustments. There's nothing there I need to remove there's no real distractions as such so we're just gonna I'm gonna up the contrast and have a look now if we down the contrast it'll actually soften it a little bit more which to be honest with you I think I'm going to do that and just drop the contrast down because we're gonna add his own contrast to it highlights I'm gonna up the highlights because what that does the more I up the highlights it'll separate the foreground from the background so I'm just going to up them to about plus 20 shadows I'm going to just plus to about 12 so not a lot I'm going to drop the blacks back down though to around there so we're just clipping that that bottom there so I'm just going to bring that back there we go, just a touch more. So there we go. So we've hardly touched the blacks at all. We're gonna just drop the DA slightly, drop the clarity slightly, and then what I'm gonna do is rather than just up the texture and bring the detail back out in all of it, I'm gonna grab a brush. And I'm just going to up the texture and the sharpness in the areas that I want, which is this area here again. And I'm just bringing that detail out and the beautiful. What I want now is I want to bring a little bit of warmth to it, but also give a bit of feeling that it's it was a it was a cold day, which you can see it was a cold day. It's a winter's morning. Well, sorry, a winter's evening with some nice golden light on there. So what I'm actually going to do, if we go to the colour grading, I'm just going to warm the highlights up. So it's just a matter of picking the colour that we want and just applying the right amount of colour. Because it was at the end of the day and it was quite a nice soft warm light that was it in the side of it but within that the shadows I want to cool down a little bit so which again we'll just pick a, a blue colour we don't want it too cold 
just enough. So if we could see that's before and that's after. So we just give it a little bit of a punch there. And I think what I'm going to do is just up the temperature, the overall temperature, just to give it that a little bit more. The only other thing I think I'm going to do is very quickly, we'll grab a radio filter. We'll bang that there in the middle. Subtract the luminosity. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then we'll, I'm just going to drop the DAs down a little bit. Now, I'll just overdo it so it shows you what it's actually adjusting, which is the background. I'm just going to drop that DA just slightly to soften that and the clarity again. And I'm just going to up the temperature of that background. I think that the only other thing I'm going to do then is just do a little bit of dodge and burn brush, drop the exposure down slightly, a nice dark brush, nice big brush. I'm going to just try and darken this area in front down a little bit around the edges there. In other words, painting a little bit of a vignette in. Just going up the vibrancy just a touch. Now, some I don't normally do, to be honest. But I think if we up the vibrancy, it just brings out that, that warmth that I was after. Okay, very quick edit. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that. Introduction to the new office. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this, this very quick video and a little tutorial on the edit. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next week.